operating by sending a high-level field operative to investigate. <laughs> His name is Diamond Dave Grassoff, and he's live in Sacramento to see what's uh, new in the neighborhood. You had us at pizza. He's accompanied by another pizza freak, Scott oh. Zentner. <gasps> oh. Hi, Davey. Yeah. But Diamond Dave, he wears a couple different hats for this uh, show during the course of the day. Okay, you guys drive by 12th Street all the time, uh, and it's amazing. Where we are now has been boarded up for years and years, but the great Chris Rose, owner of Broadwick, as you know it, the Midtown and West Side oh, uh, Broadwick, mm -hmm. opened this brand new pizza place. Chris, what, what made you decide to get into the pizza business? Well, you know, I've, pizza's been my favorite thing my whole life, so I've been, I've been dying kind of for since... Well, first of all, I never thought I'd be in the burger business. It just kind of happened. So mm -hmm. I always thought I'd be in the pizza business. So this was a, an opportunity to, to bring some great pizza to Sacramento, and I'm excited to get the doors open. Okay, let me scoot over this way. And so, Scott, here, no, you stay over here so Scott can see the pizza there. Okay, so tell us the name of the place and, uh, and what the pizza is going to be. What kind of pizza do we have? Well, well the name of the, the place is Anonimo, and Anonimo in Italian is Anonymous. Um, and the story, uh, I'm not going to give you the whole story, but basically... Uh, it's about the craft. We didn't really need a name. We just wanted it to be about pizza. So I figured we call it Anonymous, and uh, it's going to be, you know, uh, kind of inspired by just a, our, our style of Americana and our style of Italian pizza. So, um, and, and here you can see two of those with the, uh, the bigger pizza being a, an American style, which we're obviously calling the Americana, a little bit like the New York style pizza. And then our version of of uh, a Neapolitan uh, called Itali we're calling Italiana, and and that's a it's an Italian style pizza that, that travels a little better than the, the the regular Neapolitan pizza. Yeah, yeah. So you've done amazing things with Broadrick, and so now you're bringing some really good pizza. This, is, this looks delicious to the town here. Yeah, you know, uh, this is Juan here actually walking up, and he's bringing in which is a, it's a <gasps> version of Detroit style pizza. Look, John. So that's another one we're doing. We're calling that. Anonymo, and that's our anonymous style pizza. But um, it's a Detroit style pizza. Yeah, it's, there's, a, there's a. If we had more time, I'd tell you the whole story on that yeah. one. But you know, <laughs> in World War II, the Italian or some guys came back from Italy that were stationed in Italy, and they were talking about Italian style pizza to a, a gentleman that owned the pizza shop in Italy, and he had didn't have the pans, so he went down to the auto plant and he grabbed some parts pans, and he started making pizzas in parts pans. So Detroit started their own pizza based on auto parts pan. So that's a version of that. Um, you know, we, we've, been, we've been really lucky to find some of the best pizza guys in the business. Um, in the back, we got uh, pizza chef Juan Ramzini, who's, uh, who he was with Hot Italian for a little bit in Pizza Rock. He's been in the Bay for a while. Trainer Tony Gem Gemignani, who won the pizza competition in Italy, a world pizza competition twice. Um, and then we have another guy who also is from the Tony Gemignani family, who's starting next week. Um, so this is know, gonna be good quality pizza. World class, I, I mean, not just, you know, we're, we're gonna try to bring something great to Sacramento, but we're trying to do something great for pizza in general. Like I think the two guys that we have working here that are kind of developing the program are literally some of the best in the business period. Yeah. So just lucky to have them in Sacramento. Okay, working <laughs> with Tina McCoy through the years, whenever we go into a pizza place, we always ask the big question, is it the dough that makes the pizza or the sauce? Uh, it's everything that makes the pizza, right? No, he has to commit to one. Halfway. You got to, you have to have it all. Um, you know, we have two sauces that we. That, that this one is very Italian style, very tomatoey, and the other one's very American, very flavorful, very spicy. So, I mean, and then I think our crust's amazing, and that's that's just from a guy who loves. Make pizza, him commit, so, Dave. You know. it smells delicious, uh, Chris. Uh, tell us uh, when when you're open, when people can come in here, because I know that you just opened. We're open now. Um, we won't have beer and wine for a couple of weeks, but we're open now. We're uh, doing takeout and delivery, um, ob obviously dine in and uh, let 11 to 11 every day for now. Maybe later, uh, maybe open it later a little, little later in the game once we get this thing built up. Um, okay, door and, and location, you're just off uh, 12th Street here? Yeah, uh, 12th Street. 12th and corner 12th and D. Um, nice. DoorDash is the, the first delivery delivery platform we have on on okay, uh, Dave. Line, so you know you can check us out on DoorDash. But um, yeah, just try us out. I mean, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I, I really truly feel it. I'm not saying it because it's us. I just I think we're going to make some really great pizza. Davey. Okay, uh, Tina, is there a question from the floor? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I asked Chris to give you guys each a slice. Can you, Scott? Can you grab a piece? And Dave, can you grab a piece? So I'd like you to try oh, it right like now. She'd like us to try. A, she'd like us to try a, take a take a bite out of it. I mean, I'm telling you, T, right now, it it looks divine. Is that kind of weird if I feed Scott Zentner? <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, oh, it is kind of weird. Okay. He's got, he has his mask on, too. So. Okay, ready? Okay, all right. Cool. I mean, uh, is that ricotta? Is they that ricotta? Stuff. Yeah, it is. I can tell. Yeah. That. If you never had ricotta on your pizza, oh. is that ricotta cheese, sir? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot of Italian cheeses, uh, ported awesome. Italian flowers. I mean, we're not we're not messing around. It might be a little bit more uh, price, a little higher than some of the other pieces you'll see, but you're going to find that the ingredients are. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can attest after just one Come bite. On, Scott, it is, you try it is fabulous. Back Three words. You guys. Fabulous. All right, enjoy, Dave. We'll Welcome be back. D. More good day coming up.